This starts with breaking news. And we start with that breaking news out of Hoover. Federal and local authorities are searching for a missing woman after she reportedly stopped on the side of I-459 to help a child. Her name is Carly Russell. This story has certainly shaken all of us because the details are very concerning. Our Ajene Robinson joins us live from the scene with the latest. And Ajene, I understand there's a large search underway right now. Yeah, that's right, Claire. I'm here in Hoover where several family, friends, and community members have gathered to help the Russell family look for Carly. Now, for several hours today, her family have been handing out these flyers asking anyone if they have any information to please call them and let them know. Now, they've been going to different neighborhoods, also posting on social media, again, asking anybody if you have any information about Carly's whereabouts to please, again, let them know. Now, just to recap what's been going on in the last few hours. Now we know that Carly is 25 years old, five foot four, and was wearing all black with white Nike shoes. Now, just to recap, last night Carly was traveling home on I-459 South near mile marker 11 when she saw a toddler walking on the side of the interstate. Now, after calling 911, Carly stopped to check on the child and called a family member. Now, this family member tells us that she did hear screaming and interstate noise, then lost contact with her, but the line did remain open. Officers who were already en route to the location located Carly's vehicle along with her phone and a few other of her belongings. The family is asking again if anyone and everyone to help find their daughter. She does know not to stop for anyone, even a child on the side of the road, but she did um, call 911 and I think she kind of let her guard down thinking that they were so close. And when she got out the car, um, she did tell my daughter-in-law, I can't just leave. I can't just leave this little child on the side of the road. We want the word of the day to be Carly. Um, we just want to have, have her back home safe. Now, as you guys can see behind me, there's a large group of folks gathered here right now. They are regrouping and figuring out their next plan of action. And coming up at 11, I'll be speaking with Carly's family and I'll have more information to provide you then reporting live.